winning in Kansas City was 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 wicked and, and amazing and winning the West was great but obviously we got one more game to go and one more um, mountain to climb to win another MS Cup. It feels like um, you know you guys have been counted out a couple times maybe because of how difficult the road has been do you feel like that's happening again this week? A couple I think we've been counted out every single game haven't we? I don't think any person's uh, thought that we, we might win any stats or whatever people have been talking about except for ourselves obviously so you know everyone's put it on Atlanta to win at home and they've had a great season and this and that it don't make a difference when it comes to playoffs and it certainly don't make a difference when it comes to the final and uh, you know we're looking to go and win another one and, and uh, excited about that Does that kind of fuel you guys a little bit internally? <laughs> uh, yeah why not you know when people count you out it's always nice to shut a few people up and uh, quite a few people down and something we look forward to I think it's been like it all season to be perfectly honest you know it's been a been a sort of an up and down year and you know transition and stuff but when it comes to the playoffs you know every game's like a cup final and you know we've got one more to go. You guys have been really good on the road especially in the playoffs so far how have you guys kind of stayed within yourselves when there's so many adverse external factors? We don't listen to you lot <laughs> we don't watch this stuff back we ignore everything you lot are saying I think uh, no it's like I said when you come to the playoffs you know during the season going away and you know, there's travel and stuff like that and, and, and things play into it. But, you know, once you get to the playoffs, you can see the, the light at the end of the tunnel and you can see a prize to go and win and win the MS Cup. And, you know, for the people that were here before, to remind people what it was like, it was amazing. And, uh, you know, that's once you get into playoffs, every game's like a final and you just keep on rolling, keep on winning and keep grinding out results. And that's what we'll be looking to do Saturday. Yeah, I think he's been fantastic. I think since he came in, you know, him and Jake were, were finding out at the start of season two who's going to be number one. I think, you know, both played really well last season. Jeff came in, played really well. Jake came in, played really well. And, you know, it's tough. You know, there's only one position and, you know, you've got to fight for it. And, you know, Jeff's been amazing. I think when he came back last time and got injured, you know, I felt for him. And uh, he's just put his head down and, and kept on working and, you know, shown what a good goalkeeper he is and proved a lot of people wrong that probably didn't think he should be playing. And I always like, like a, an underdog to go and do that so uh, you know keep keep Jeff going that's for sure. Liam it's been a year of some personal highs off the field for you and these challenges yeah. on the field that you haven't faced before now that you're in a cup final looking back on that what's your perspective over, on the last 11 months? It don't matter <laughs> I'd swear but I'm not allowed but you know like, like I said I think uh, this season could have gone a different way you know I might not have been standing here talking to everybody playing in the MLS Cup final but you know for myself like you said it's always nice to prove people wrong and, and prove that you should be in there playing and uh you know, that's what I've done, you know, um, kept on training, kept working hard and, you know, it's uh, it's been a pleasure to be able to get a team to an MS Cup final. But like I said, winning the West is a great thing, but MS Cup means a lot more and uh, there's one more hurdle to go. I mean, you're more than just playing, you're the leader in the back line again. You've always been since you've got yeah, Was yeah. there ever a transition where when you weren't getting playing time, obviously you couldn't lead and then... Yeah, and that's always difficult. I don't like it, you know, being not being able to help the team. And, and it's not just leading, it's being able to help people out. It's being able to help the team out and try and guide them and, and teach them and, and sh give, give my um, experience to the team. You know, that's what I came here for four years ago and that's what I mean to be doing. So not being able to be out there and play was difficult. It's, it's never easy. So, you know, looking back on it, I may sit down at the end of the season and, and look back on it a little bit different, but, you know, the playoffs have been a, a big high for me and, and to get to an MLS Cup final has, has been great. So hopefully I can lead the, the team to, to go and win another one. Does that make this uh, Cup final any different as far as how it feels for you personally than 15 years ago? Uh, no, it doesn't. No, not at all. I think when I came here, I sat down with Caleb and Gavin and Merritt and they said we want to win an MLS Cup. You know, and that was my same ambition to come here and, and win and make this team into a, 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 an organisation that wins stuff. Not just competing, not just making playoffs, but winning winning cups. And, and uh, I think we've been able to achieve that. But, you know, we've still got another one to go and um, I'd like to go and win another one. Is 2015 something you guys have talked about this week? Maybe the ones who were there explaining mm. what it was like? Uh, not really, you know, like with, I think playoffs every year you try and explain what it's going to be like and, and what the experience is going to be like to get to the final. But, you know, every year is different. You know, there's not a, not that too many people from 15 still here. So it's, you know, to talk about it, boys wouldn't know what we're saying and, and wouldn't understand. It's more of, you know, what's expected from the organisation, what's expected from the fans and, and what it means to them. And, and as players, you know, you might not get ever a chance to go and win anything again in your career. 
So why not grab it with both hands and, and, and go and win it in Atlanta against a very good team? Why was it team being counted out sort of in this underdog uh, collective mentality? Just based on what you're saying, it seems like there's a lot of guys individually that you yeah. know may have been counted out at times this year. Or <laughs> yeah. This yeah. Themselves. Yeah. I agree with you. I think you know in life you know people either try and put you down or you know or any time you you play football whatever and, and people either take you in and out of a team or you're not playing. And it's, it's up to us to prove people wrong and to, to make sure that you come in and, and do your job and, and do your job for the team. And, you know, maybe that might have worked well for us this season of people trying to come in and prove themselves and prove their worth. And, you know, we've gone from strength to strength. And like I said all the time, you know, start of the season, OK, middle of, middle of the season's great, but really it counts at the end of the season. And uh, it's something you learn from being here, you know, so uh, it's, it's good we peaked at the right time. When you mentioned Caleb before, obviously the group has a much different dynamic. What's it been like for you to see that dynamic evolve over this year? Yeah, I mean, it's it's good to watch. It's good to, you know, <laughs> I was watching, literally watching. So, uh, you know, it's difficult not to be part of it, but I am now. And, you know, I think Gio's, you know, wor worked into being manager and figured a few things out himself, like we all have. And uh, the team's come round and, and started to play together and, and start to lead together and start to win games at the right time. And, you know, it's been a transition. Teams always go through that. Organisations always go through that. So... You know, you either stick in with it or you jump jump off, and uh, you know it's been a, a been a good run, and hopefully we can go one more.